Greetings of peace. Uh, my name is Ron Hotep, broadcasting on behalf of 13signsastrology.com. I'm doing this video on Rodney King. And uh, I had an inquiry. Someone asked me, do I believe that Rodney King was a ritual sacrifice? For those of you that don't know, Rodney King died, uh, or he was found dead <coughs> in uh, a pool in uh, Southern California. He was pronounced dead at 6.11 a.m. today. And uh, that's for those of you that didn't know that piece of information. Um, now, for those of you that don't know who Rodney King is, Rodney King, because uh, I know there may be possibly some people that don't know who he is, so I'm going to explain to you who he is very briefly. Um, very popular civil rights um, celebrity who became infamous for the wrong reasons or who, who became famous which is infamous and uh, his fame was gained for the wrong reasons and um, very, very important very important cat very important cat uh, when it comes to the whole uh, civil rights movement when it comes to you know getting law enforcement to kind of like treat blacks on an equal totem pole when it comes to law enforcement or whatever and um this is what basically the death of uh, Rodney King will be remembered as it will be remembered as a day when a man was beaten by the police and was pulled over for just being drunk he was beaten by the police and though this was a bad situation it uh, panned out because uh, King actually got 3.5 million dollars out of this whole thing so he got famous off of a negative and bad situation and usually when people uh, go through really hard situations or go through really bad situations it's usually something really good going to come on the other side of that that's usually how it works this is why most celebrities um, become famous usually right after the worst time of their lives I mean I'm talking like some people eating out of garbage cans some people near death people getting shot multiple times I mean you know like some of the hardest things happening to these particular celebrities and then all of a sudden they get saved and they get chosen for fame and it was no different with Rodney King I mean he was famous or whatever whether he was infamous and people didn't like him I mean, because I'm sure a lot of people didn't like him or whatever for whatever reasons. And some people probably sympathized with him, definitely. I'm sure he has had a lot of sympathizers. And I remember those times. I mean, I was a little boy during that time or whatever. You know, I was only 11 years old during the time when that happened. But I remember, like, the riots. and I just remember how it was, man. That really changed the matrix or whatever. Like, I remember experiencing it from being a youngster or whatever, from a, a youth point of view. And I remember, like, the police did used to, like, target black males a lot, man. And, like, when that happened... I just remember the whole racist energy was just like really thriving during that time like like people just like like it was like the racists hated each other especially in the city that I was in or whatever um cause I'm originally from Cincinnati Ohio and uh, that's where I grew up at and uh man in Cincinnati I mean it was like racist like racist type of energy during that time I mean you had people that hated white folks and you know what I'm saying and hated not even just really white folks but that too because that mean that's how it manifested in Cincinnati but it was like you had people of a um, melanated skin tone that hated law enforcement man like they hated law enforcement I mean we had several riots in Cincinnati I mean even after that uh, several people I know were murdered by the police in Cincinnati so I, mean, I could totally um, relate to what happened out there in LA because I mean I experienced this stuff firsthand coming up in Cincinnati like I mean I'm sure the riots weren't as bad you know, in Cincinnati as they were in L.A., so I'm not saying they were as bad, you know what I'm saying, but I've definitely experienced, I know what it's like to be in a riot, you know what I'm saying, like, I, I witnessed this, I'm not, I know what it's like to observe a, a riot, I mean, because I wasn't in it, but I know what it's like to observe a riot, actually, to witness it, so, I mean, very interesting or whatever, but, um, yeah, that whole racist tension, he was famous for that, and the man got a lot of money, I mean, you gotta, he wrote books and everything, so, I mean, this guy was definitely a celebrity, this guy was definitely a celebrity, and, um, there is definitely a possibility that he could have been a sacrifice basically a public sacrifice because when you deal with sacrifice um, the way they deal with it 
it has to be done in a way to where it's a public display because they deal with sacrifice basically uh, these elites that run the matrix see they live by a different religion and they believe in blood sacrifice because they use the blood or the energy and they offer it over to other aliens and other entities in exchange for power in exchange for power and um, this is something that's being practiced there are plenty of researchers out there that have written books on this type of information or whatever so and um, basically uh, you can have some people do an animal sacrifice you know where they offer up an animal and then you have other groups or whatever that actually deal with human sacrifice I mean even the late Mayans uh, civilization dealt with human sacrifice so I mean it's nothing new it's nothing new and uh, people think that in our culture that it could never happen and they're like well how come law enforcement doesn't come in and stop these these ritual type of killings or whatever and how come the, how come the bad I mean how, how come the good guys don't stop these bad guys from doing this but this is the matrix ladies and gentlemen and the matrix is controlled by ET type of uh, deities that they don't care anything about human life and human existence and it's all about basically they make it all about money so they can basically <laughs> get off on murdering somebody you know what I'm saying and basically doing away with them without anybody finding out because they got people plants all in law enforcement agency and the government I mean they got plants you know what I'm saying that basically work for the uh, occult groups or whatever but you know they're law enforcement agents and things like that so I mean a person could be a law enforcement agent by day and a witch by night a person could be a coroner by day and a wizard by night I mean this is how things tend to go down in the matrix or whatever so I mean that's going on that's going on so I mean it's definitely a possibility that he could have been a uh, sacrifice or whatever based upon the energy of um because you know like most of these sacrifices are uh, pretty much African Americans uh, so-called African Americans getting sacrificed or whatever like the majority of these sacrifices are African Americans and the reason why is because uh, you have a group of elites out there that use the melanin found in African Americans blood uh, for various reasons they make products with it I mean you can research this stuff there are several products on the market that have melanin in it and I know you you might hear about melatonin and you're like well that's not actually melanin but they have different products outside of just the melatonin that's supposed to be a synthetic version of melanin no they're extracting melanin and buying uh, dead, buying penal glands from certain people's dead bodies and dead carcasses and the families are benefiting financially from this because they're offering money for these dead bodies or whatever to do things with them and to experiment on them and there's people doing this and a lot of times we hear about a person getting cremated or something like that it's the possibility that if they got cremated that their body could have been easily um, moved somewhere else and used for experimentation purposes and they don't have to tell you this information they don't have to tell you this information because they control the information so that they put you on a need to know basis and most people only know what they hear about on the news or whatever so I mean you gotta investigate it I mean you really gotta investigate it now I'm not saying that he was definitely a sacrifice but as far as the numerology is definitely there I mean there's 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 numerological evidence that he could have been a sacrifice I mean those of you that uh, have followed my information or whatever know that I did an article on Whitney Houston back in uh, February or late January actually back in January or whatever and I talked about how the 9-11 was used uh, in the sacrifice of Whitney Houston and for those people that are interested in uh, looking up that Whitney Houston article it is found on my website under 13signsastrology.com up under the blog section I mean, you can look at the Whitney Houston article or whatever but I talked about how 9-11 and the significance behind it I'm not going to go into too much of it here but I talked about how the 9-11 is definitely a number that is used based on the Kabbalah and other metaphysical uh, context is usually always comes up at least once or twice in every ritual 9-11 will usually always come up and the reason why they use 9-11 for emergencies is based on a occult connection so the 9-11 is definitely there with um, King and even them calling even his name King even the significance you see 
they can target a person for a ritual. They can target a person for a ritual, meaning that a person that uh, reaches a certain level of status based on their number, their numbers and their numerology and their bloodline, you could be targeted for a ritual. And they have, I mean, they have people like that where they select a certain sacrifice because this God might want a particular type of energy and a particular type of being for a sacrifice. So people are can be targeted. So that's why it's happening. For random, it doesn't matter. It's not about a reason. Like it's not about what he did wrong or anything like that, or he shouldn't have this or shouldn't have that. It's not about that. It's about the fact that he was a public figure that fitted into a ritualistic story because of the 9/11 connection, and then tied into the connection of the fact that three sacrifices had to be made for the Olympics. You see, and it had to be beings of melanin, melanated beings. Three sacrifices had to be made for the Olympics and for this jubilee that we're going through. You know what I'm saying? With the that that involves the uh, Queen of England or whatever. So this stuff is deep. I mean, this stuff is really deep as far as the rituals that are going on right now or whatever. But um, yeah, it's possible that Rodney King could have been a part of that, the melanated aspect of it, because of the fact that you got to look at Whitney Houston. Trayvon Martin, and then you got to look at uh, Rodney King. And you, and you look at um, Whitney Houston, Black Diva, you know what I'm saying? Goes way back, you know what I'm saying? Ties way back into that whole uh, 60s type of energy and flavor. She's definitely a diva. Was trained by the divas of that time. So she's a diva. And then you got uh, the brother Trayvon Martin that was murdered or whatever based on what ties into the civil rights movement again based on brutality from enforcement now this wasn't then now this guy wasn't an actual he was a citizen's patrol enforcement agent but he was still an enforcement agent he was still a law enforcement so I mean that's still dealing in the civil rights act tied into the King thing because King was beaten by law enforcement so that all ties into that same type of energy or whatever you know what I'm saying then you gotta you put the icing on the cake because they do rituals in threes so you put the icing on the cake with the king ritual because he was the king you know what I'm saying so they had to like do the finale and kill the king or whatever and he was and it's a ritual called kill the king keep in mind it's a ritual called kill the king and they had to kill the king as a grand finale to put the icing on the cake for this three part ritual that they did it was a three part ritual that they did and that's what I'm saying because 9-11 is found in all of those situations and the civil rights energy is found in all those situations uh, you had king who was a nine when you do his numerology and you add up his birthday and I'm not going to add it all up here you, you you do this on your own and you can research this on your own to make sure that I'm telling the truth when you add up his numerology and you do his, his numerology he's a nine see and Whitney Houston had nine energy she was a nine you see and they put the eleven in with him because he died four plus seven is eleven he died at forty seven so it's nine eleven that's where the nine eleven energy comes for him that the 9-11 energy from the Whitney Houston, if you read the article, I talk about how she died on the 11th day. On a, on a day, as far as numerology is concerned, it added up to 11. She was a 9, so they hit her with the 9-11. You see, in the 9-11, the World Trade Center, I mean, 9-11 is an old, old time uh, cold or whatever, you know what I'm saying, that they've been working with for a minute or whatever. Because these are the type of entities that they work with, man, I mean, they work with dark energies. They need a lot of energy to conjure the type of energies that they work with. They need a lot of energy. It's all about see. It's all about occult science with these people. They they don't. I mean they 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 killers. They don't give a fuck. Like for real, they're not playing. These people are like for real. Like they gonna make their rituals and do what they gotta do right in front of your eyes, and they don't care. These people do not give a fuck. Like seriously, this is real talk. This is real talk. I mean, um, you people just don't realize what the world is really all about. You know what I'm saying? Because you just hear what's go what goes on on the news and you believe that. You know what I'm saying? And you believe what uh comes on the radio and if it's if it's not like some type of rapper or some famous person in the matrix that's talking about it, you don't want to believe it. You don't believe in regular people. And you, you don't believe in the um celebrity in your neighbor. You know what I'm saying? You want to idolize these celebrities on television, but what about the celebrity that is your neighbor? I mean, we're all celebrities in our own fashion. What I mean by that is that we all have a sphere of influence, but they get people in this matrix mode by by worshiping these people that come over on a television. You know what I'm saying? They got you slaves to lasers. You see, this is all reptilian type of stuff that's going on here. And the reptilians will be the ultimate uh, people to blame for the sacrifice. 
the, the reptilians and the luciferians and the satanists that are the people that are responsible for sacrifices he was he was um, tied into the uh, something it's something called the kill king ritual and I talk about this in the Whitney Houston article it's called the kill king ritual and then the kill king ritual is basically uh, one part of it I'm not going to go into all of it here but it's one part of it that uh, specifies a location that a particular target must be sacrificed and the location is the 33rd degree uh, latitudal line the 33rd degree latitudal line which is uh, happens to be in southern it runs through southern California it actually runs through where King was killed and where Whitney Houston was killed in a water ritual keep that in mind in a water ritual because both of them die in water both of them died in water and both of them according to 13 see I deal with 13 See, and this is why I'm going to let you guys know that 13 signs of astrology is accurate because both of them were water signs. You see, King was a water sign. Rodney King, that is. He was a water sign. He was a Pisces. You know what I'm saying? And uh, the sister Whitney Houston, according to 13 signs, you see, dealing with the water energy, she was a Cancer. Both of these are water signs. And both of them died in water or were found in water. Her being in a tub, him being in a swimming pool. You see the connections? But you still don't see it. People still don't see it. You know what I'm saying? Because you're going to say, oh, this guy's nuts. You know what I'm saying? He's on this video talking crazy, talking about aliens and people are getting sacrificed for aliens. This guy's freaking nuts. We, yeah, right. He just died. He was found dead in a swimming pool. How come people just don't leave this sacrifice stuff alone? It's going to be other people that's going to come on YouTube that bring even more information. Because I get this. I mean, I get this stuff via the universe. You know what I'm saying? I can tell you more about what happened, but I'm not going to do it here. But I channeled the situation, you know what I'm saying, and I asked, uh, and I relied on my ancestors to give me a little wisdom on what happened. So I channeled in some things, you know what I'm saying, and some more information, really, that I can go more deeper into, but I'm not going to do it here because it's a waste of time. I just wanted to let people know that it's a possibility that the guy was sacrificed. It's a public figure. A lot of energy could be harnessed from him. A whole lot of energy could be harnessed from him. A whole lot of energy was harnessed from Whitney. A whole lot of energy was harnessed from Trayvon. You see? So that it happens in threes. Preparing for the Olympics, you see, because you got the Olympics that are coming late next month. So they have to make their rituals. See, they're serious about this shit, man. Serious. And you know what I'm saying? It really just, I just be laughing at people because it's like people think that the occult world is some type of game, and like this is just some type of stuff that 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 that, that you hear about in some freaking scary movies or something. Like this stuff is serious. This stuff is serious. Like. People out here are living in another world and working with a world that is parallel to ours, that is helping them and assisting them in ruling you. There's people doing this. And the only way for you to protect yourself is to learn about the occult so that you can defend yourself from it. But people don't want to do it. People don't want to do it. And that's what it comes down to. It could be smaller COVIDs. It could be people in your family that are working in occult rituals. You know what I'm saying? So you got to just keep all eyes open, all three eyes. Both of these eyes and your... The eye right here. See, people don't want to deal with the eye right here. Keep all your eyes open and deal in love at all times. Deal in love. That's the that's the highest energy. You see, you don't need to work with these uh, demonic, lower energetic type of beings that require lustful type of sacrifices and murderous type of sacrifices. You don't need to work with these type of individuals or these type of excuse me these type of energies. And this is what they're doing. These sacrifices are for a group of beings that they're working with to prepare for the Olympics and they're getting ready for this new energy and this new shift and they're trying to rule for the next 50 years. This is what they're trying to do. They're trying to rule for the next 50 years. This is all about rulership. It's all about a game. It's energy. And the Olympics is about competition. Competition for who? The gods. The gods. See, so all this stuff that's going on in the news and the media, you got to know how to like, it's kind of like connecting the dots, you know? You kind of like connect the dots to get a clear picture. That's what you have to learn how to do if you want to understand, understand, and overstand what they're doing. Because they're playing a deep game. They're playing a deep game, but people aren't peeping it. So that's my views on it. I definitely see it as could be a, it could have very well been some group out there sacrifice or whatever. There's various groups that could have been behind it, but it very well could have been one. So I'm not going to say no, it's not. I'm not going to say no, it's not. Um, like I said, I remain biased. Do I know for a fact it was a sacrifice? No, I can't say that. I haven't done enough research. Um, you know, just things need to be 
you know what I'm saying? You got to kind of like wait for the deep insiders to do the research or whatever you see, and you can get inside information from the insiders. You can find out more information. There's going to be people that are going to. I'm just channeling this, most of this information from what I consulted the universe and gathered based upon that, and just based upon my own knowledge of knowing about the occult and knowing how to work with numbers and days and knowing about certain knowledge of rituals and how things go down. I could definitely sense a ritual going down here between those three people. So that's all I'm really saying in this video. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is from the universe, but somebody's going to come with the factual, hardcore information. I guarantee you. The factual hardcore information will be gathered, um, and it will come out. It will come out or whatever, but um, this is basically from the universe, you know, and from my research, it's a possibility. And from my opinions, it's a possibility. So this is just to get you to think. This is just to get you to think, because you can think your way out of your reality. And I use these situations that happen in the media as teaching pieces to educate people on what's really going on, you know, in the real world. Because what I'm talking about here is the real world, you see. The world of television is the world of fairy tales and the world of illusions. And these people learn how to win and manipulate your reality through illusions, man. It's deep. Deep. So, I thank you for watching this video. Um, for more enlightening information, visit my website, 13signsastrology.com.